Hello, Phil Singer Games fans, and welcome to another special unboxing. I have a package here that is direct from Phil Singer Games out in Fairfield, Connecticut. I have a bunch of plastic sleeves. I am ready to unbox this. Now, what should be in here is two copies of the new Legends Ringside Personnel 4-pack and uh, two copies of the next uh, three cards in Promoter Prime for Legends of Wrestling, uh, which would be quarter two. So let's open the old box here, the old package, and see what's inside. There it is. That's what we're always looking for, that beautiful white envelope. Uh, let's open it up and see what we've got. Oh, we've got some bonus cards here right on the top. The Powers of Pain, that's a pretty nice bonus uh, bonus uh, set of cards there. That's really kind of awesome to get the Powers of Pain. Maybe we'll do a giveaway or something for the Powers of Pain. All right, let's see what this is here. These look to be Promoter Prime. So we've got, uh, I'm going to move these out of the way just so we're not distracted here. There is Bob Orton Sr., Bob Orton Sr., uh, three pin rating with the advanced rules, a big pile driver, plus two finisher. And, uh, you know, looks to be a, a good good wrestler. Not somebody I don't think I would use, um, but uh, there you go. Uh, very cool artwork. Bob Orton right there. Then we have Ranger Ross. Ranger Ross, only kind of vaguely familiar with Ranger Ross. Uh, but I do like the artwork. He's got a four pin rating and a comeback kick is his finisher there. And uh, I like this. There's a great little mechanic down at the bottom that says if Ross rolls a two on into the, on the end of the ropes chart, he hits the comeback kick plus one. This can occur once to once per match. So uh, he could possibly hit his finisher after being thrown into the rope. So that's kind of cool. And there we have Scotty Riggs. Scotty Riggs, uh, probably out of the three, he's the one I've, I've seen the most uh, just during the Monday Night Wars because I, I did watch uh, both uh, WWF and WCW pretty regularly. He's got uh, a five-arm finisher um, and uh, he's got a double dropkick tag move. So this is very tag-focused Scotty Riggs. Uh, card as well. And then I have the second set of Promoter Prime cards. Uh, very cool. I will get these into plastic sleeves right away. And now we have, I'm super excited about this set. I didn't think I would be, and yet here I am. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the uh, Bobby Heenan Gorilla Monsoon card TV studio show card. Use this card when you want your show to be hosted in a TV studio. Between matches, we hear some witty banter between Gorilla Monsoon and Bobby the Brain Heenan before going on to the next segment. Roll two dice to see what will happen next on the show. So uh, it, I love it that it is. it will sort of book a TV show for you. Um, I mean, guys, you start with a, a list of matches and uh, and then you would roll on this to uh, go get have different things happen to the matches or go to uh, segments and stuff like that. So um, very cool. I like this. Uh, artwork is fantastic. Uh, moving on to Bill Apter. Bill Apter finally gets a uh, color card, the color treatment. Uh, in my fed, I was using Bill Apter, and when we got Gordon Soley, I kind of had the big retirement ceremony and everything for Bill Apter, and now he gets the color card, so I may have him come back. Uh, but this is a press conference interview card. Uh, it may ha be nice to just have him pop in every once in a while and uh, do a press conference. Bill Apter will occasionally show up at live events to interview the top wrestlers in your promotion. Choose which wrestlers you want Apter to interview and roll two dice and see what happens. So there you go. There's Bill Apter. Here is Gary Michael Capetta. This is a ring announcer card. Use this playing card when you want a match to get off to an unpredictable start. Imagine that Gary Michael P C Capetta is interrupted as he announces the participants in the match. Roll two dice to see what happens. You check the chart there. Very cool. I never used his original one, but I may actually uh, use this one 
um, now that I have it. And here is the referee card with Joey Morella, James Beard, and Dick Worley. Referee assignment card. When you would like to assign a referee to the next match, roll one die to determine the referee and apply the assigned rules to the match. So each you've got uh, three referees here, and um, then you have little modifiers that they do to the match. Uh, if you roll one to two is James Beard, three to four is Joey, Mor Joey Morella, and five to six is Dick Worley. Uh, I've not used a referee card, I think, in Legends, so I'm excited to give this a try. I did use a referee card in um, uh, Champions of the Galaxy. Massive was a special ref, uh, but I'm excited to, to use it there. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There are our new legends of wrestling ringside personnel four pack very very cool and our let me get it over here our new promoter prime cards with bob orton scotty riggs and bob orton senior so there you go. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing. Please make sure to subscribe. I, we are so close to 300 subscribers on our way to 1,000 subscribers. Someday, someday we'll get there. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comments if you ordered this set, which card is your favorite. Uh, I'm excited to, to play these out and uh, uh, see which... Um, you know, uh, which cards uh, really stand out for me in, uh, especially from the ringside personnel pack. Thank you for watching. Check out the other videos on the site and I will talk to you later. Bye everybody.